Hey, welcome everybody to Inside College Football Overtime just for you on CBSSports.com alongside Brian Jones, Randy Cross, and Aaron Taylor. I'm Adam Zucker. We do Inside College Football every Tuesday night at 10 Eastern. Here's a look at some of the marquee matchups that we're talking about. Nebraska against Kansas State on Thursday night. Bama going to South Carolina on CBS. The Michigans meet up undefeated at the Big House, plus LSU shaking off that ending against Tennessee up against the Florida team trying to shake off that game against Alabama. Aaron Taylor always goes first. Aaron, which game you want to talk about? I like the Big 12 North game between Nebraska and Kansas State. I tell you what, I, I, there's part of me that wants to pick this Kansas State team because of the way they run the football. And Bill Schneider is just does. He, these are the types of games that he just somehow finds a way to win. However, this Nebraska team runs the football extremely well, as well if not better than Kansas State. But the one thing that for sure that they do well is play run defense. The black shirts are going to be the back. They're going to be the difference in this ball game. But don't sleep on Kansas State. They could find a way. All right, Michigan State and. And Michigan both undefeated. Randy, can the Spartans slow down the Denard Robinson show? Uh, I don't see any reason why. Nobody else can. <laughs> it seems to be a standard game for Denard Robinson to have 200 rushing and 200 passing also and a couple touchdowns in there to go along with it. Michigan State is a total football team though. Coach D'Antonio will be in the press box and this football team is one on offense and on defense. You've got to really consider Michigan on the other hand on defense. I don't even know if they can play defense because they haven't done it particularly well. And against this style of a smash mouth football team on the offensive side, if Chapel from Indiana threw for almost 500 yards, I think this offense ought to feast on Michigan. Well, uh, a couple too many members of the Tennessee football team ended up on the field, and that's why the LSU football team got a win that felt like a loss. Florida, that felt like a loss against Alabama. What do you expect to see now with the Tigers going to the swamp? Well, you, you expect to see two inept offenses. You look at Florida, they couldn't generate any offense last week versus Alabama, and they had four turnovers in that ball game. There's no way you're going to win on the road going up against the number one team by turning the ball over. LSU, on the other hand, they've got talent. I just can't understand why they're not progressing as an offensive football team. You look at last year in scoring offense, they ranked 76 in the nation. This year, they're going backwards. They're ranked 83rd. You've got to show up that offensive side of the ball. I think they need to get the ball in Russell Shepard's hands. They've been practicing the Wildcat with him, or Wild Tiger if you're an LSU fan. And they need to get him more involved with that offense. They've got to generate some points on the road. That's going to be the key. Yeah, it's been more of a crouching tiger uh, so far. The, uh, <laughs> the game on CBS, of course, Alabama, number one, going on the road against South Carolina. <laughs> What do the Gamecocks do to make this a game, Aaron? I think the, the only thing they can do is be able to hold on to the football and establish that run game and, and try and make a play happen in special teams and hit some big plays. Alabama got away with that game against Florida last week. They played well on defense, but their offense got shut down. So the Gamecocks defense, if they can step up and force some turnovers, I think they got a shot. How about playing one quarterback? Enough mm -hmm. with the Connor Shaw Garcia deal. Play Garcia. Have him not turn over the ball, mm -hmm. run Lattimore, play the clock game, play the field position mm -hmm. game, and beat him with a field goal at the end. That's how they How win. about adopt a strategy of Florida? We could go five down linemen, two linebackers in the safety, all eight in the box. I think they can handle them on the corners with Gilmore and Culliver in that, that Carolina, South Carolina defensive backfield. But they've got to be able to stop the run. They gave up 334 yards to Auburn. Mm -hmm. South Carolina did a couple weeks ago. If they do that, this game is going to be over in the first quarter. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that part yeah. worked for Florida, but Florida turned it over the way South Carolina did mm -hmm. against Auburn. For Randy, Aaron, and Brian Jones, I'm Adam Zucker. Thanks for joining us for Inside College Football Overtime. Remember to join us Tuesday nights at 10 Eastern time on the CBS College Sports Network.